What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to set up the UTM tracking so it passes through your click funnels and onto your website. All right, so welcome back. Uh, so here is the the problem, okay? And then I'm going to show you what I did to get the solution. And um, there's a couple things that you can't quite fix 100%, but we kind of found some workarounds. And uh, this is going to be a valuable video. So um, on this channel, I do teach a lot of like how to and making money online tricks uh, and tips. So make sure you subscribe, bang that notifications bell. And um, you know, if you like the content, make sure you uh, like the video and uh, pass it on to your friends, share it, and leave me a comment below. It help, helps spread the word on the algorithm about this channel all right so this one is really valuable because i actually paid a coder to uh code and what i'm going to do is i'm going to link a blog post below uh with the actual code and then you can take the code and, and instead of paying a coder you can put it in and just change the domains and whatnot and uh it should work for your um your click funnel uh account as well as far as passing the utm parameter so let me show you how this this works okay um when it comes to uh UTM parameters. I always use the uh, the Google tool. Okay, uh, they have a developer tool, GA dot dev or dash dev dash tools uh, dot app spot. I just Google it. I was just Google, Google campaign URL builder. This comes up first. So here is uh, the the domain that I did this on, and I'm actually setting up all my funnels like this now. And uh, so let's go over to a um, an incognito window here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and. Uh, we're gonna paste the uh, the domain in here with the UTM parameters. So notice everything's here. The UTM parameters are here. Okay. So this is uh, an actual click funnel domain. And here's what normally happens when we um, let me go ahead and make this window so everybody can see it here. And uh, here's what normally happens when you when you go ahead and hit enter here on this tab. Um, you know your your domain is gonna still have the UTM. Okay. Now here's the issue on uh, ClickFunnels. You know if they don't fill out the form, okay, and they um, they happen to click on this and this takes them to the website, or they scroll down and they happen to click on um, you know any one of these things and that takes them over to the website. Um, typically on a ClickFunnel, this, these are going to fall off. The parameters are going to fall off and then you lose your, your ability to track where that ad came from. Okay, and that's a problem because on this particular funnel, um, it's not one of my best funnels. I'm still uh, doing some optimization. But on this particular funnel, for example, I have uh, stats in here of um, about a 14.2% opt-in rate in the last week. So that means that 86% um, of the time somebody lands on this, uh, on this particular page um, that I'm actually, I'm actually um, losing that ability to track that person. Okay. Now, Google is actually smart enough on their ad platform to know uh, about the traffic they're sending and then it you know somehow they they're still able to kind of keep track of it through cookies or whatnot I don't I'm not exactly sure how it's done I'm not a uh, expert coder on that or anything I'm a marketer but uh, it's it seems that they somehow are able to still figure out that those people are eventually completing the goal which is filling out the form and landing on the thank you page but that's not the the best way okay the best way honestly is to get the the, the tracking like right here all this stuff to go right into your um, into your CRM and into your Google Analytics when they actually submit the form and if they skip this form right here then they are off to you know your website and who knows where so you want this 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 code to follow them around now notice uh, when I click on this domain this does not happen automatically this is after I put some special code in here my coder did I click on this domain bachelorvegas.com and boom okay that my code followed me Okay, there my UTM tracking followed me. That's huge. Okay, so that's that's the problem we solve in this. Or we're going to solve in this video. Uh, let's go back to that page again and uh, let's click on one of these things uh, down here. One of these links, terms of service, for example. Okay, boom. Notice what we have here. The tracking code has followed us. Okay, so um, that's that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to keep that code uh, following uh, the the link around. Okay, now if they um, if they actually do fill out the form. Okay, the, the UTM tracking code through ClickFunnels actually goes into the ClickFunnels. Um, it actually goes into the ClickFunnels CRM, okay? And then uh, it does pass through Zapier into my Infusionsoft, okay? But 
if they land on the thank you page, there's no way I talk to somebody over at ClickFunnels, somebody that's been there for like three years too, that knows kind of what's going on. Uh, by the way, their customer service doesn't always know what's going on. Uh, but I did talk to somebody there that actually knew what was going on. He's been there for three years, he said. And he said there's no way to actually take the UTM parameters once they submit the form and then get them over to the thank you page through ClickFunnels. You can pass them into your CRM, which is I, I do that with Zapier. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, the um, you know the uh, you can't pass the UTM parameters onto the thank you page to follow them where they go after that. But um, that's that's not that big of a deal because if they submitted the form, I already know they've completed the goal, the main goal, which was landing on the thank you page, and I got the UTM parameters there. So that's it's not a deal breaker. It's, it is what it is. Um, I, I did a little research, and I think on some of the other CRMs like Unbounce, you might be able to pass them along to the thank you page. But um, again, it, it's not, um, not something you can do on ClickFunnels, so it is what it is, but it, it's fine. But if you take a look here at this, uh, this contact, um, notice I have like uh, information in here, okay? This is what uh, ClickFunnels basically passes along to my, my CRM. Now, for whatever reason, uh, that is, they're not, it's not coming up here, but I just saw that one come in. And uh, yeah, for some reason it didn't, uh, it didn't, didn't take the... Um, the info um, so I don't know whether that this person found um, yeah I you know what it is I, I I think on this particular campaign I haven't put in put in the UTM parameters yet that's why but uh, basically click funnels can grab the UTM parameters when they fill the form in um, the problem is when they're going off the page and they don't fill out the form I need those parameters to follow okay and that's what I solved okay so I, I did a lot of research online there's not really any good videos there's a guy out there he's got this um, blog and, and his code was I could tell it was pieced together like he's not a coder either and I was like okay this is not working the way I really needed to work so I went ahead and hit up my coder and said hey listen bro can you code this thing so it works right and he's like yeah I can do it no problem the next day it was working okay so let me show you what the code looks like and then what I'll do is I'm going to take this code and you know obviously you're gonna have to change the domains and stuff but um, there, there's basically a few places where that this code goes okay and I'll, I'll put the, um, the code so you can just copy and paste it into my blog post I'll, I'll make it so that it's like a kind of like an iframe and you can just copy and paste the code and then change the domains and it should work for your um your particular um site okay so the first thing you're going to have in here there's going to be some tracking code okay and it's going to be in the footer okay so this is the actual script that he wrote and uh so i'll put that in there that's going to be in your tracking code in the footer and, and again i'm not a coder i don't know what half that crap means i mean it's just a bunch of letters and numbers to me i, I don't know what it means a bunch of weird things if I knew how to code I could probably understand this obviously you're gonna have to change this I'll, I'll put like your domain here or something in the in the blog so you know that this has to be uh, changed to whatever you're you know going to okay and then there's also some um, some CSS some custom CSS and I'll put that in in there as well okay so this goes in the custom CSS section and again you're gonna have to play around with this if um, you know I, I'm not exactly sure what all this stuff is okay but to get it to work you're probably gonna have to change these images and whatnot um but this is the actual code so you may need to um you know reach out to a coder or um i'll even add my coders um you know uh contact info into the uh blog post so if you have a question maybe you can reach out to him and maybe you can even do a little work give him some work and you know i'm, I'm showing you guys this code i paid for it but it's his work so at the end of the day um you know maybe he'll, he'll get some business out of it and then uh, down here where the uh, the footer was, okay, remember I had the footer here? This is custom JavaScript. So this is the, um, uh, when you click on the custom JavaScript here and you go open code editor, this is obviously the code. And then you're going to have to put your different links in here based on what you're, you know, where you're sending people. So those are the three places uh, that, that I needed the code. The custom JavaScript on the footer there. Um, I didn't really notice anything here. All I did notice is that this thing says link URL. So I think you have to actually change this to link URL instead of an actual link. So he must have that somehow set up in the uh, the CSS or the uh, the tracking code so that knows what's going on. But it, as long as I know it works, that's that's all I would do. But that that this is actually you used to just click on this and it used to just go to the URL. Now it actually goes to link URL. Whatever you know, whatever he's got set up in the tracking and the CSS makes that work. Uh, but that's that's um, that's how that all works. So that's really important. To get this um you know utm parameters to pass now um i did actually have them set it up on the thank you page but um it's not 
really 100% necessary on the thank you page. Um, but uh, I had a similar type of setup. Now, I haven't actually tested this on my website. I had my other coder set it up so when a UTM parameter lands anywhere on my website on any domain, it follows them around, and then if they submit a form, it's going to go into like his hidden fields and go into my Infusionsoft. So that's set up on all my sites now. But the um, I had I had them also my coder set up the thank you page in ClickFunnels, and uh, what we did here was um, you know similar type of thing. There's a tracking code here in the footer. Okay, that's the code, and I'll go ahead and uh, it's a, it's the same code. Uh, as the other page, but this is now on the thank you page. And then again, there's some custom CSS. Uh, this is different. Okay, so I'll go ahead and include that in the um, in the blog post below. And then uh, the button. Now, if we look at what the button looks like, if you look at it on a preview, the button just looks like a preview. Okay, there's the um, the button. All right, but uh, the button on on the ClickFunnels side is custom JavaScript. So I'll have to give you guys the code on this. And then you're going to have to change it to say whatever you want. Obviously, I have it going to Bachelor of Vegas. And mine says uh, Bachelor of Vegas. Okay, so you're not going to want it to say that. But uh, that, that that works as well. And I had them do it with the, um, you know, the, the footer again, too. So and if you notice here, this is now custom JavaScript as well. And, uh, you know, that, that's the same as the other one. So that, that's fine for the footer. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, we can, we can actually see this one in action as well. This is the thank you page. Because um, I have all my forms, even my organic forms and my ClickFunnels forms going to this one thank you page just to make things easy and be able to track my goals better, which a goal for me is a lead. And, um, you know, it just made it easier just to have one thank you page and trying to deal with multiple. I, I just have everything going to one thank you page on each different website. And uh, it just made more sense to do that um, for me. So let's go here to the, um, to the actual thank you page. Let's go to the UTM parameter. And we're going to go here and put the uh, the thank you page in here, okay? So let's see, that is the, this is the thank you page domain. So we're going to build a UTM um, parameter with the thank you page this time, and I'm going to show you this working in action. And, I hope, and if you're watching this video, you're probably searching for this information, and this is probably pretty helpful because I, I looked around and nobody really had this information out there on the Internet, so I'm going to be the first that actually puts out working stuff. Um, all right, notice my thank you page is here, so I'm going to copy this URL. Let's go into an incognito window, and I'm going to show you the thank you page in action as well, and you'll see that the code is all working. So I'm on the thank you page, and we got the UTM parameter up here, okay? And um, if we click on the uh, the logo, it takes us there, takes the UTM with us, okay? Very nice, very nice. And then if we click on this bachelorvegas.com button, boom takes the UTM code with us. Very, very nice. And then if we, um, you know, it's obviously not going to take the code over to Facebook Messenger or, or either one of these links, okay? Um, and this is just a video of me talking and giving another thing. And here's our uh, handy-dandy uh, footer, and boom, there goes our code. It follows us, okay? So everything is working exactly the way we wanted it to. Uh, and I'll put a very helpful blog post below with all the code. You can copy and paste it, put it into your own uh, ClickFunnels, and uh, hopefully this solves your UTM tracking issue with ClickFunnels. Uh, I'm the Marketing Media. If you guys got something out of the day, I would appreciate a like on the video. Drop me a comment below if you found it valuable. And make sure you share this with your friends so more people can uh, find out about this problem-solving uh, video, and I will talk to you later.